How do you guys? It's Abby. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be doing the finale for my 20 and 2020 project pan. I started this project in June of this year and I just wanted to either hit pan or use up 20 makeup items. My main focus was to get rid of some old makeup because I had a lot of stuff that I bought in like 2018 that was all going bad at the same time and I feel like I'm going to have the same problem in like two years because most of the things that I have in my collection now I've gotten this year. So uh, we'll see how that goes. And right after this I'm going to do the intro to my 20, 20 or 21 in 2021. I can't decide if I want to do 20 or 21 but uh, that's for the next video. If you like Project Pans and cruelty free and vegan makeup then stick around. I do three videos a week. I also just made this new background. I got the frame for it for Christmas and then I just took this mesh fabric that I had and um, just wrapped it around. You know, it's like, that's all one fabric. It's like kind of ombre. Anyways, hopefully that looks nice on camera and the wrinkles will fall out. I can't iron it because it'll melt. So I'm hoping that they just kind of take care of themselves. That's one time my fabric hoarding has came in handy. As of the last update, I was at 17 products that I had either hit pan on or used up. So I'm gonna go back through and recap from the beginning and then let you know what happened this month. In June, I used up the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel in the shade Blonde. I did a whole video about why I don't support ColourPop anymore, so you're probably not gonna see many of their products. I don't have many left. Um, there are a few that I've used up in this that I, they were included in that stuff that I had gotten around 2018 and they were starting to go bad, so I needed to use them up, but I, don't have many left. Next one, I go through a face powder quite quickly, quite frequently, is that the word? This is the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Sheer Tint Finishing Powder, and that is totally done. I think I, ow, I think I had hit pan on this before I started this project, but there is not much product in here at all. The little pan is very, very shallow. And then I finished up the Eye of Horus Brow Pencil. This is the Dynasty Brow Define. I think there's just one shade of this, I can't remember, but I got this in a Petty Vor box. This is definitely more expensive than I would probably go for a brow pencil. And like I mentioned in every video, this one's kind of messed up, but where the, the part where brow pencils twist up, you know, these like these kind that you can break open the part where it twists up and there's still more product. There's always, they always have this little white piece and there's usually quite a bit more product in there once you break off that top section. I feel like this background is like, I'm not sure, I'll, I'll decide how I'd like it when I edit this video, but I'm liking that it's not like my old, what's behind this is my old background, those gray doors, and the camera didn't want to like stay focused on me. It wanted to go back and forth between the doors because like the stark contrast of me pale and blonde hair versus a dark background, it kind of freaked out the camera. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be better. In July, I finished up a ColourPop concealer. This was in the shade Fair 4 in their No Filter Concealer. And I had a few of these and they were mostly like halfway used up because I'd had them for a while. And the next one was a Physician's Formula powder that I've decluttered because I didn't want to deal with using it up because I don't use Physician's because I don't use Physician's Formula anymore because they're not cruelty free, so I just decluttered it. And I had hip pan, so it counted for something. And then I hit pan on this shade in the e.l.f. contour palette. I'm gonna cover up this other one because I'm gonna give some away. But I hit pan on this shade. I use this for my like cheekbones and nose contour. And these, actually in my uh, declutter series, I swapped these in because I had two of these palettes and they're interchangeable. And so I just switch those blushes into there. So I did a ton of stuff in August. The NYX On The Rise mascara, this was okay. It wasn't like, I I don't know, I just don't feel strongly about mascaras most of the time, so this was all right, I might buy it again. And then I had one of the Milani Make It Last setting sprays, I already have another one going. Then I hit pan on another e.l.f. Beautifully Bare powder, but I actually finished it up uh, later on, so it kind of counted for two. And then I had hip pan in a ColourPop highlighter, which I have since decluttered. Then the Ulta, the Elf Ultra Precise Brow Pencil, and this is the shade Taupe, I'm pretty sure, yes. And this one again, I broke it open. I quit using these. I have one that's open right now, but I don't use it as much. I'm trying to go for like more pomade style ones because I go through these so fast and I feel like it's a lot of waste. 
I used up another one of the ColourPop concealers. This was the shade Fair 8. I don't know what, like all the ones I used up were different shades and they all worked for me. Like that's one of the issues that I had with them, but anyways. And then I finished up a stick foundation. So this is the Anastasia stick foundation in the shade Warm Ivory. And I just used it until I couldn't really put it on my face anymore. And I didn't really like this anyways. It didn't last very long and it just kind of looked terrible if my skin was a little bit flaky. Because I have a combo to sometimes oily, sometimes dry skin, so it really depends on the weather and how I'm keeping up with my skincare. But this didn't look great. And the only thing in September was this NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. And I would use this underneath of my makeup, like before even primer. So it would control oil before it got to my makeup, you know, if that makes sense. And then in October, I finished up that e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Powder. Then in November, I kind of used up this Milani Eye Tech Extreme Eyeliner. The problem with it is that it had product, but the product wouldn't go all the way down to the tip of the thing. So it was just kind of going halfway and wasn't working the way it was supposed to, so I just called it done. I think the the cap doesn't close very tightly on it, so maybe it dried out. With eyeliners, I prefer now this this style from e.l.f. Or and Milani has ones too, like other brands have this kind, but it's got a little pot in the bottom. And there's way more product and it doesn't dry out as fast as a pen style one. And then also in November, I finished up the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I took one of those little spatula things and scraped it out, but it somehow just like ran back down. I don't know, it looks, it looks like it's not empty, but it is. And that was the shade uh, Fair 30. At that point, that was 17 products. And then now this month, I finished up the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Where did I put it? Oh, the No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 10. So I had three different shades of this that all worked for me just fine. This one was a hair too dark, so I mixed it with their white concealer, the shade Fair Zero. And this is still going, so I'm just gonna keep that around. I have a couple other concealers that are a little bit too dark, so I'll just keep it to mix. Then the last thing that I finished was the KVD Powder Foundation. And there's like a little bit left in here, but it's not enough to do anything with. So I'm calling that one done. And they do sell refills of this, so I'll probably get the refill and then stick it in a magnetic palette instead of buying all this packaging again. Because the refills, like this was before they started doing the refills, so this packaging doesn't work with that. Maybe, I buy, maybe I'll buy one, I don't know. So that was only 19 products done. I have one or two, no, just one that's really, really close. So I'm like, don't feel too bad about not making it. So like I, I covered up that one in this e.l.f. palette, but it, I was working on this highlighter shade from the e.l.f. palette and look like, the, see how little there is left? like maybe three more uses. I don't know. With this one, it's not a really intense highlight. So I put it like under my eyes and on this area to kind of make my contour look sharper, I guess, and uh, on my forehead and stuff. So it's goes pretty fast, but um, so I don't feel too bad about not hitting the 20 because I'm pretty close on that one. So stick around. The next video is going to be my 2021 Project Pan intro. And click up here to watch my most recent video or click up here to watch another video that I think you will like. And give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss seeing my face in your subscription box every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Links to my social media, anything else that I mentioned in this video will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the comments. Bye.